so uh, you can basically see how price has broken back above here retested it and is pointing upward now for the bullish target my target remains 2483.67 welcome back guys you can see how price played out perfectly uh, a lot of money was made and as a matter of fact price has broken out of the upper region all right so what do we expect going into next week let's go to the weekly time frame wow gold is completely bullish super super bullish and technically we don't have any level that we can use as targets but that doesn't change anything as we are going to be trading all the way uh to the upside so i'll go back to the four hour time frame and this is what i'd like to see actually the pullback has happened price has pulled back into um this zone and uh on the lower time frame it has actually retested as zone. i mean if we go to the 15 minutes time frame you can see our price broke retested and took off which of course if you have been watching my videos you can even take advantage of this but on the four hour time frame i would still like to see a proper pullback all right so i would like to see price come in between these regions before taking off for a decent two to one a two to one trade is not bad at all all right so i'd like to see price retest between 2483.667 and 2473.644 so that's my bullish scenario of course i'm completely bullish on this bet in case next week kicks in and price intends to do something else then i'd like to see price break below 2473.644 for a bearish scenario actually come back for a retest then our bearish target is going to be 2430.641 but for now i am definitely more bullish than bearish the next on my list is euro jpy so i would like to put a line above here which is 147.8 it's double four if price actually breaks above one four seven point it's double four i would like to see a new higher high created then i want to catch it on the pullback now on the pullback you want to switch to a much lower time frames of course like the 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour time frame depending on your preference and then i want to see that pullback come into one five one point three nine four welcome back guys you can see that euro jpy also played out nicely price created a higher high like broke out of that zone came back for a retest gave this bullish engulfing candle and then took off to our targets before we started seeing uh a stall so it was a short move anyway but of course money was made if you are taking advantage of this on the 15 minutes time frame i mean if i go to the 15 minutes time frame just like i usually advise right um, you would have taken advantage of the trade around here when price came broke out and retested here look at this rejection here to the upside and price continued trading all the way to the upside so you would have made more money if you are taking advantage of this on the 15 minutes time frame so let's go back to the four hour time frame and see what should we expect what should we be expecting to see play out next week this is quite uh complicated at the moment i don't think price is going to continue bullish because uh we are in a strong downtrend i mean if i squeeze out my chart first of all let me even look at what we look like on the weekly time frame oh super bullish super bullish and the uh, price is at this level of resistance do i think price may make its way here as a matter of fact if price continues higher maybe it wants to go and create a new um lower high then remember we're bullish from this point higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high before we saw a change in trend in market um trend right we are now bearish so even if we continue higher to this point i would like to see a lower high created around 168.338 that is if price continues bullish all right next week before we now go bearish but let's go to the smaller time frames and put things into a perspective first of all let me look at the daily time frame mm, super bearish okay i think price is going to continue lower from here this that's exactly what i'd like to see because price has effectively traded into this zone which we rightly predicted pull back into this zone also which we rightly predicted in this case i'm just going to delete this lower zone here all right so i think from here price may stall for a little bit on euro jpy maybe stop for a little bit before we continue lower all right that's what i'd like to see but before we continue let me make sure these levels are visible on the lower time frames okay perfect so i'm going to give a bullish and bearish scenario of course i am 
bearish right now at the moment meanwhile let me delete all of this since it has fulfilled its uh, obligation so um next week i'd like to see price continue lower maybe manipulate here for a little bit before we trade lower my target remains um 154.920 that's for the bearish scenario which is what i'd most likely like to see happen but for a bullish scenario then price has to break above 164 Point eight thirty, catch it on the pullback on a much lower time frame and trade into this obvious target here, which is around. Let me put a line there for easy identification, which is one six seven point three four six. All right, all these opportunities you want to take um, advantage of them on a lower time frame. All right, so those are my bullish and bearish scenarios on Euro JPY. The next on my list is USD JPY. So USD JPY, um, just like last week, uh my analysis is going to remain the same because USD JPY actually broke above our bullish area but didn't give us a pullback to capitalize on all right if you caught it here anyways you must have lost the trade which we can't win all right but price didn't give us that effective pullback before price started trading to the downside and now we are pointing uh lower all right of course we are in a bearish trend but on USD JPY um before we con completely go bearish on this i would advise you wait for price to take out this level here which is 145.903 wait for price to break below it switch to a much lower time frame and then take advantage of this trade to the downside my target is 140.000 that is if price continues lower so you have to be patient for price to take out this lower and zone here once again it's 145.9 zero three but for us to go bullish with what price is doing right now i'm just going to delete this zone from last week and then i'm going to move this to the upside here so now that new zone will be 149.288 so within this zone i'll do nothing except maybe if you're trading with our strategy uh, at letstradeconnects.com and uh, of course you can trade within the range it doesn't really matter but if you are if you're looking for a conservative approach to this then i've given you the bearish scenario so the bullish scenario wait for price to break above 149.288 it's going to be a short move to the upside but if you catch this on the 15 minutes time frame it's actually a pretty decent move to the upside so you catch it on the pullback your stop loss below then your target will be 151.394 so those are my bullish and bearish scenarios on usd jpy so on dxy last week i actually wanted to see price come into here which is around 103.711 before this drop i already knew that we we're selling off right that has been my analysis and my target remains 101.657 but price failed to come there before we continue lower just like we like to see we want to see we want to see price go lower right so uh let me delete this i think i had all these lines from my mentorship when i was teaching last week so for next week i will expect to see i'll still like to see price continue trading to the downside i think i'll have this here so if you are not already in this um bearish move um i would like to put a line around here okay so i'd like to see price break below the um 102.277 area i'd like to see price break below it come back for a pullback catch it on the 15 minutes time frame to our overall target for now which is 101.657 of course my other targets should price break below here is all the way down here which is 99.896 but we'll take it one step at a time one week at a time all right so that is that on dxy i don't think i can see any bullish scenario even if there's any bullish scenario it's just a mere pullback maybe price playing around blah 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 whatever but i am super um bearish on dxy for now so the next on my list is gbp usd so my bullish scenario will be for price to break above 1.28156 then i'll catch it on the pullback on the 15 minutes time frame stop loss below take profit above here which is 1.30000 Welcome back, guys. You can see how GBP USD played out perfectly 
Christ came here, created the new higher high that we're looking for, breaking above the 1.28156 area, came back for the pullback, give this massive rejection, and as you can see, price is headed to our target, which is 1.30000, right? That has been our target. Meanwhile, price may decide to stall around here for a little bit, but it really doesn't matter. If price decides to stall around here for a little bit, um, it's all good. That means if you are not already in, this, in the trade, if you missed out because you are not subscribed to our channel or because you decided not to watch our video, which I wonder why you shouldn't be watching our videos with all these accurate signals we give. I mean, how many YouTube channels, even your faves, how many of them give accurate signals week in, week out, right? So, yeah. Um, if you are not in this trade already, ho let's hope and pray you catch the pullback, all right? Let's hope and pray you catch the pullback. Let me delete this. So to catch the pullback, let's hope that price decides to stall from 1.29484. Then you want to catch the pullback from here, which is 1.2868. So when, when price is approaching that level, you want to go to the 15 minutes time frame or 30 minutes time frame. Get your confirmation, whatever your confirmation is. At letstrade10x.com, we have our own confirmation. Stop loss below target above all right target remains 1.30000 all right that's if price doesn't just continue going to that direction next week because last week we actually knew we had to take advantage of this whole move from which is actually playing out right now all right so but if price comes for a pullback you can catch it here and your target should be 1.30000 all right 000 that's funny right anyways um, the next on my list is Euro USD. So for a bullish scenario, guys, just like I did on DXY, then I have to be super, super patient for price to take out this 1.09928. That would be a huge patience, right? <laughs> so I'd like to see price take it out. Then I'll catch it on the pullback on the 15 minutes time frame, right? Then we'll continue trading to the upside. So welcome back, guys. You can see on the 14th of august price eventually broke out of the 1.09928 area shot all the way up before the sell-off all right so even if you are taking the trade around here because price came there gave us a perfect double bottom shot all the way to the upside right depending on what your confirmation is price at least drove for 5.02 to 1 reward to risk right before falling back below that zone went back above the zone broke above it came back for a retest and took off again as you can see all right so going into next week i will still be expecting price to continue higher remember from last week my target is 1.113132 1 all right my target remains the same going into next week all right i would like to see price continue higher where do you catch this trade if you are not already in this trade well on this i'll go to the 15 minutes time frame i'm just going to box the top of this how do i do all of this then guys you need to enroll in our mentorship program because i can't explain all of this in a youtube video all right so you need to be patient for price to take out let me put a line there for easy identification take out 1.10476 wait for price to break above it come back for a retest catch it on the pullback then trade to your target very very long move to the upside where's that target okay it's not visible on this 15 minutes let me make sure it's visible i want to see you on the 15 minutes time frame let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame so yes our targets will now be here all right so that will be all for this week analysis sorry that this video is coming late i actually my younger sister was getting married over the weekend so short last week i've been distracted but i am back to business as usual and um well it's better late than never right thanks for making it to the end of the video please don't forget to leave us a like a comment just to em uh, encourage us leave a fire emoji in the comment section and of course if you want to take your trading to the next level uh you can choose to go with us or at least go with someone that you trust but either way you need education forget about what these people are saying online you need education whether or me or with anybody else you need education to be able to fast track your trading from where it is now to the next level you actually want to take it to with this i wish you a successful trading week and i'll see you in the next video